Um, oh, in other news, I thought this was completely amazing. We had the uh, love letters to LGBTQ+. Jeff Grosso, they had filmed it before he had passed. And um, I don't know if the episode was actually done or they continued to do it for, you know, so they could air it. I'm not really sure which which one they did, Raj. I'm, I'm happy they did, though. Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Super My cool. must watch. Yep. yep. Yeah. I got to say this. Our list for this week is probably my favorite list we've had in a very long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, of cool good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I texted BA like after I watched this, whatever, and I was like, "Dude, you basically kicked the door open. I kicked the door wide open mm-hmm. for all these kids to come forward." Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. for sure. it's funny you text BA. I text Sam McGuire, mm-hmm. and I was just like, "Dude, I love you." Like, yeah, because I remember his the like mental battle he was going through with coming out and then like telling like our close friend group first and then wanting to do it throughout the industry and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I just, it's such a, it's such a weird thing that that has to happen. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Where you have to like live in fear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, obviously there's a lot going on right now yeah. with, you know, that, that being a, a prevalent feeling for a lot of people, but for like you to fear like being yourself, yeah it just is so un like unnatural yeah. like mm-hmm. just to human nature yeah. it's just yeah. wrong yeah. shitty yeah it was <clears throat> interesting with Alyssa they were talking about and when he was talking to Jeff Grosso which you could tell which is Jeff felt kind of uncomfortable talking about stuff too it's you know? like they're probably one of the first episodes where Jeff sat back and listened yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. he wasn't like basically telling the story of how things went down like he's sitting there like yeah. he's trying to learn he wants to learn this moment yeah. right here yeah. I, I think that's what you're talking about yeah, yeah. she was like but you can imagine yeah, yeah. and right. I was like I, right. that actually hit me in a weird way yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like oh yeah Like, yeah, so, so she says what were you? The, what did she say? Like exactly with exact words? Uh, I don't remember. I can't quote it, but I remember he was saying like, I I couldn't imagine oh, if yes. somebody heard mm-hmm. me saying those things from an outside perspective when he was talking about using the f word and yeah. all that. And and she was like, well, you can imagine, yes, like right. take yourself out of that situation and imagine what that would feel like. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. so true because I know, and this goes back to what I was saying last week too, where it's like you got to unlearn and relearn a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where in his mind. I can only imagine he had no ill intent towards the gay community by saying those things. It's how you're brought up and you're you're brought up in a way where that's just thrown around in conversation. Unfortunately, it's not, there's no condoning that whatsoever, but it's taking those steps to be like, okay, let me actually remove myself from this situation, from this conversation and think like somebody walking by, hears me yelling this out. And what if they're, you know, they haven't come out yet and then they're living in fear because they hear people on the street yelling mm-hmm. these like it's just mm-hmm. such a yep. it's such a thing but I, I like what you said Raj where he did just kind of sit back and listen to all these people yeah. and let them tell their stories and yeah. speak their truth and that's fucking amazing yeah yep. yeah I noticed that too in the piece he, he seemed a little um I don't know the right word for it but then I, I went down to the YouTube description and read the whole description and they said that he cried like twice during these interviews like fully wow. broke down Dude, there was a, a a dude in here. His name is James Petoniak, I think. I, I think how you say his name, because you know there's sort of footage playing in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and in random footage, there it's a dude capable back tails, this big ass rail. I was like, holy shit, that was <laughs> nuts. Yeah. And I looked him up, and I was like, this dude's fucking amazing. Like I don't know, he had some fuck. There's there so many rad skaters. Was in that here, the kid from Australia? No, he. he I, the I'm store? not. Sh- I think he might have been from New Jersey. Mm. Yeah, I see that dude was from South Africa. South Africa? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I love, it's like, this is such a, a necessary thing right now, too, because it's like, you know, just because of your sexual orientation or gender or whatever, doesn't mean you can't, like, be an amazing skateboarder. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, that, it's just, it's so weird that that was even a thought at one point. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure after this, too, like, talk about mental health. Like, some of these people that are dealing with that stuff now that they can release and yeah, like have totally. this like thing, Freedom watch counts. out. Yeah. <laughs> Their skating is probably getting even better. Exactly. <laughs> Straight yeah. up. Someone that wasn't in this, I mean, obviously they just became kind of viral recently, but the Aaron girl on Instagram mm-hmm. who is transgender and mm-hmm. identifies as a woman now, she rips and just kind of came up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And like, I love seeing those moments too, where it's like, okay, you get this little bit of shine and you get this like, you know, this viral moment and you just like speak your truth, let it, let it be known before anybody starts to make any assumptions yep. or guesses or anything. And like, 
just go for it. Yep. Yep. And one thing that reminds me of that on like a mainstream level was Lil Nas X. Mm. When he came out, he was like, I might as well do it now when I'm at the top of anything I'll ever be. Yeah, right. Instead of like, you know, when my career declines and I'm trying to like yeah. chase He's this cloud or whatever. Too. Right, right. Mm-hmm. exactly. I love Brian Anderson calling people out. He's like, yeah. he tried doing the tricks I did in my yeah. video part, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> like all the dudes in the van saying that are kind of wusses. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, yeah, such a good piece, man. I uh, like they like they said in the piece. Uh, Grosso was, was like it was his favorite fra- favorite episode. Yeah. yeah, it was such a it was amazing to see someone like that who's always been super opinionated, always been like just this dude really sit back and just like take it in yeah. mm-hmm. and kind of be like, wow, like this is important. And you can even see yeah. it on his face. You right. know what oh, I mean? oh yeah. Yeah. Very genuine. Like, wow, this is people. It's not, it's not even just, just your skaters. Yeah. Like totally. it's like, this is yeah. like it's, human. Which we all share the same love of skateboarding. Right. You know, right. there's a, the, yeah, that's what's the, uh, the bond between all of us. For you know? sure. Yeah, this was beautiful, man. Must watch. Yeah, yeah. must yeah. watch. I think my favorite moment when it was that the South African guy it was like, he won that contest, went over, yeah. kissed his boyfriend. They're like, oh, did you do that for like a, a statement, or whatever? He's like, no, I, no. Okay, I love the dude. I, yeah, <laughs> I just won a contest. I love my boyfriend. Yeah. Like, what, what do you yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> man, that was amazing. I laughed. So like, I'm like, that's amazing. This was one yeah. of those things where like, I started it kind of like on my phone, or whatever, and I put my phone down and I gave it my full undivided attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm going to go skate that slappy curb, Raj. Let's go. See that? <laughs> Oakland. Is that in Oakland? I believe so. Sick. Is that where Jim skates? Yep. Yeah. Where he takes photos of his board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. Sick. Great, great video. Super good. Um, yep. Really well done. Rest in peace, Jeff Grosso. And I think it was a beautiful way to, like, remember Jeff, too. Yeah. In, Fuck yeah. In this yeah. yeah. And shout out the Vans. Yeah. Totally. For mm-hmm. doing this. Yep. And six star and everyone. Love it, man. Love it. Skateboarding, Love it. bro. Yeah. Seriously amazing. Dude, representation as well. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when people can see this and feel seen and heard and like mm-hmm. can be comfortable in their own skin to like do this as well. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah. We all Love out it. here. We're living. <laughs> We're out here. Everybody deserves a fucking an opportunity to just be happy and Absolutely. live their truth. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Happiness. There's a really cute dog in that video too. See, on the, on the 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so chill. I was like, oh dude, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Just kicking it. <laughs> Got a really good plant selection too, by the way. Oh what? Good plants? Some good ones out there. Dude, I love the um like throwback Alexis of Blown footage they were pulling oh, too. Mm-hmm. Must watch. Go check it out. Links are in the description. So easy to just scroll down, down below there, click on it, check it out. Mm-hmm. Really, really fucking good. And don't go there to hit it with fucking a thumbs down. Oh, why would they do that? I mean, there's a lot of idiots out there. A you lot. know, the people who watch our show don't do that shit. <laughs> I'm sure there's seven thumbs down right now. Oh. First. 